I'm on Gunnison Creek for the first kayak trip of 2023. Time to see how much I've forgotten over the winter. Let's head to the Delta. Hey Delta. Delta went to the Mardi Gras. I'm her brother Roy. What you need? All right then. Hey Roy, why is March 20th considered the first day of spring? The notion there is an official first day of spring is balderdash. Spring begins at different times depending on where you live. The vernal equinox, however, occurs on March 21st and signifies one of two times annually that the sun is directly over the equator. Anyone peddling that official first day of spring nonsense is a huckster and not to be trusted. The weather was absolutely stunning today as I shoved off from the kayak launch on Gunnison Creek. Look at that blue sky. First day on the water of 2023. <laughs> Got the kayak out and I'm on Gunnison Creek in Satsuma, one of my favorite places to fish. I'm going to try and pull in some bass today, but uh, it's just nice to be out here again. This delta is just gorgeous. Oh, and happy Mardi Gras. We are here in the home of American Mardi Gras where it all started in Mobile, Alabama. And uh, just, I don't know, 15, 20 miles south of me, there's a quarter of a million people roaming the streets of downtown Mobile celebrating whatever it is they celebrate. <laughs> this is how I celebrate Mardi Gras right here. Let's get fishing. Mardi Gras Day, or Fat Tuesday, which translates to Mardi Gras, is a holiday in most of the coastal communities, including Mobile. So there were a lot of people out on the water today who thought they would use that time off in the middle of the week to do something a little more productive, I guess.
check that out. I chose to go this direction on the creek today because I wanted to check out this modified houseboat. Look at it, they have it designed so that it looks like an old paddle wheeler from the 1800s. That is... Started out throwing a chartreuse chatterbait, but didn't get any takers, so now I switched over to a regular jig, but still keeping the chartreuse, because with the sun out and the water pretty clear, it seems like that's what they would be hitting. Maybe we can pull something off this bulkhead. Not even the first strike. Let's see what else we can figure out. Well, I'm going to go a little lighter, pulling out the ultralight and going with a, a small jig. Maybe I can get a smaller bass to hit, or maybe a bluegill or shellcracker will hit it. At this point, I'd go for just about anything. Well, the sun's starting to get low. I think I'll pack it up and see if I can't find a bite to eat.
Well, that was more a day of kayaking than it was fishing, wasn't it? But, hey, who cares? Did you see how beautiful that delta is? Just unbelievably gorgeous. And I talked to a couple of other fishermen. They didn't have any more luck than I did. And the conventional wisdom is the water temperature is still a little too cool. And we were dealing with a strong wind out of the south. It was blowing me all over the place. And stopped on the way back in Sarah Land to get dinner at a place called Bay Burger, which is partnered with another restaurant. The sister restaurant is Mo Bay Beignet. And it's a great little place. Like I said, it's family owned. They've got three locations of the beignet shop and two of the burger shop. And they have them sandwiched into the same building here in Sarah Land. So I stop and uh, I'm going to sample the two things they're known for the burger and their menu. Alright, so check it out. Hand cut fry action here. Delicious. I think the brilliance of this venture is the simplicity of it. As I mentioned, we just got the two things they're known for. Cheeseburgers, beignets. Of course, to go with the burger, they have fries. There's not a whole lot of exotic toppings for the burgers. Pretty much the only thing they have to top the burgers with is your normal stuff. And it's mustard, ketchup, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle. They have their own base sauce, which is kind of a burger sauce. And uh, I think they had barbecue as well. But that's it. You know, it's, there's no mushroom Swiss option. You know, none of the crazy stuff that, you know, like I'm there for. <laughs> but uh, you just keep it simple. And then the beignets, it's just a fried donut on some powdered sugar. And then they do have some optional syrups that you can get. Uh, my recommendation is the butterscotch. But I just went clean tonight with just the regular beignets. Let me get back at this burger. Well, let's talk about the beignet here for a minute. It is essentially fried dough, a donut, if you will. It comes originally from France, made popular in New Orleans French Quarter, a place called Café du Monde. I've been to it many times. If you've never been, you must go. But you can find beignets all up and down the Gulf Coast. Uh, Panini Pete's is famous for theirs here in Mobile. And uh, I got some Mobe beignet as well. But there's a quick lesson I'm going to have to give you if you've never had a beignet before. It's, it's a very serious thing here. And you can see all this powdered sugar. It's very important that you do not inhale with this anywhere close to your mouth. So. Put the inside in the front. It's just everything you want. Crunchy on the outside, the dewy on the inside. The dough is not very sweet at all. If it wasn't for the powdered sugar, it wouldn't be much sweetness to it. Again, simplicity. Hey y'all, that stew's gone and I need you to do me a favor real quick while he, 
Well, he's not looking. Let's do a prank on him. Everybody push the subscribe and like buttons so when he comes back, there'll be like a lot of subscribe and like buttons pushed. <laughs>